Hi. <laughs> I'm Jingming. I'm a freshman from East. Give me all. Razzle dazzle. And this is my poem, Silence. You open your mouth to let people in. Pray and pretend that anyone's listening, but instead they crawl down your throat, light a match to burn a fuse in your heart, and watch the ticking bomb come to a close. And when it explodes, the remains fill 24 catacombs because every hour is another candle blown by incendiaries. Watch your body lit aflame by the untamed madness. Nobody cares about the kid in the background. Time frames and pictures determined to chop you out, determined to shut you down, determined to drown your lungs, your bones, your soul. So you trade your feelings for stories because you couldn't feel with those empty rooms in your head, four blank walls filled with nothing metaphors. You pretended they were people. Cerulean colored boys with mothers buried six feet deep, those crimson illegitimates dressing themselves up in Edelweiss petals, lavender maidens choking on forget-me-nots on an average Tuesday afternoon, and the transparent people just like you, with lonely souls and ticking bombs, just in case you need to differentiate yourself between what's normal and what isn't. You wish you could say that you met the person that makes your heart skip beats, who you dedicated love to like a one-way ticket to agony. You would pretend that someone planted flowers in your lungs. Instead, they were beautiful with petals the color of blue skies, but you couldn't breathe and sharp leaves would cut your throat every now and then. You wanted for once to see someone in a dazed, mournful tragedy. Were there the sun in your eyes? But you're not the moon. You're not even a star. You're scared of being stuck playing the mime for your eternity, voiceless and monochrome with a blank face painted over by powder and black paint. The silence was suffocating, need to fill it was imminent, but this invisible box that you created just won't let you go. So, do continue with your stories of, of alternate endings and non-existent beginnings. Happiness, sadness, excitement, fear, pain. And it was beautiful, because for a second, you felt special and important and loved in a story narrated by yours truly in colorful expression. So ironically, you thought you were happy until you realized you were just pretending nothing is real in your messed up coping mechanism. Play games with yourself somewhere else, they said. You should lay these thoughts to bed. Nobody cares about the kid in the background. They ruin the surround sound with their stories instead of emotions and no specific motion to understand.